The first thing the author tells us in the book, there was a famine in the land. The creation isn't functioning as it was designed to function, which is for the blessing of humankind. Then the next verse in Romans digs this hole even deeper, which says, because the creation itself will also be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. That word bondage means slavery. Everything in creation is shackled in slavery to corruption, decay. Everything is moving toward disorder. And the author of Ruth is showing us the same truth. Death comes for Elimelech. Death comes for Malon. Death comes for Kilian. In a perfect world, there is no death. In a fallen world, bodies break down into dust. Life decomposes into death. In science, this is a principle called entropy. Everything breaks down, falls apart, and moves toward disorder and chaos. And since the fall, this bondage to corruption has become the operating principle of the material world, and this bondage to corruption has also become the operating principle of the moral world, corruption.